to a day in our life. This is the show where you get a little bit of everything. This is another episode of the Wonder Bill Show. The Wonder Bill Show. Do we need tennis balls? I hope not. We have some. Ow! <laughs> So, fun little fact, Matt and I both played tennis in high school. For the most part, yes, that's true. And our schools actually played each other, but we didn't know each other. Yeah, for the most part, that's But he got, kicked, <laughs> he got kicked off the team. <laughs> How many times? Twice, right? Three times. <laughs> I put up some good numbers. <laughs> That'll be a story time for a little bit. Don't forget your sunscreen. I totally won. Where are you going? Won what? I won the game that we played. No. That, that we played? I sucked it up. I sucked it up. It's hot. Uh, and we are not used to this heat. We're from here. Yeah, but <laughs> We've lived it's inside hot. with Eva for <laughs> two years. I'm not even in the gym and I'm already sweating. I'm just getting my back. It is hot today. <laughs> Look who's joining me. <gasps> we're same thing. No, we're not. It's great. Sweet ride. You like the car? It's my mom. <laughs> it started. It did start. Okay, you're good. Yeah, it didn't start. Get your goldfish snacks. Yeah, those are mine. I'm healthy. That is healthy. <laughs> is it? Yeah, sure it is. All right, bye. It's real cheese. Bye. All right, bye. I'll see you back at home. Okay. All right, workout is done. Woo. Oh, I gotta turn on the car. I do really enjoy having the feature on the truck where you can start it from further away so it's not as hot whenever I get in. So one thing that I have been making sure to do, honestly since last January, whenever I started taking my health more seriously again, um, I just bit my tongue, is after every workout, and this isn't cardio, after any type of strength training workout, whether that's like a circuit training workout, strength training, um, after any of those workouts, I always have my post-workout shake. This is one scoop of a rapid assimilation protein, meaning your body it digests it very, very quickly, and it absorbs it quickly, as well as fast-acting carbs. Now, after you work out, basically our body, our glycogen levels, our energy, our muscles are depleted of nutrients, and they are looking to recover as fast as possible. That's why getting nutrition in after your workout is so, so important. And basically the faster that we can replenish the glycogen, nutrients to the muscles, um, the better our recovery will be. So I've been doing this every, like non-negotiable, every single workout. And I feel like, 
I'm getting powder everywhere. I feel like it has made a massive, massive difference in my overall recovery because I've been training pretty intensely. Um, my results have been great and I've been able to see some serious progress. If you have been a part of the channel since last January, you know how much I have struggled um, after since after having Eva for good reason. But I feel like I've been able to make really, really solid progress without having to, I mean, I haven't been doing any cardio um, outside of just like some circuit training stuff and I haven't really had to lower my calories much. And I feel like a lot of it is because my recovery has been as optimal as possible, which means better lean muscle tissue growth, which means my metabolism is actually higher now than it would be versus had I not been doing this every day, so. Um, ah, ah, I hate when this happens. Excuse me. Face mask as a napkin. I feel like that has been a complete um, game changer for my results. Let's go next door. Let's go find Brady. Eva, are you ready for the house? What? Rocks, yeah. There's Eva. <laughs> yeah. Hey, come on. She likes them in the living room. Eva, I remember whenever you were little and we put you in the octagon with Sharky. <laughs> you put the bear on him. Alright, so I also like to just sometimes put Sharky in there. Just let him go and they kind of battle it out, so. <laughs> Here he goes. There we go. <laughs> go get him. <laughs> uh oh. Watch your toe. Watch your foot. Oh, 
Welcome to the Battle Royale. Yeah. <laughs> Get him, you boy. Yeah. yeah. You better run. <laughs> oh, yeah, here we oh, go. You gonna run over your hand? Oh. <laughs> 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 go get him. Cool arms. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> Take that chair. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Can't quite get him. He barely got away with his life. Oh. Broccoli to my mat. Okay, this probably isn't the best idea for me to be filming while carrying this, but uh, if Matt watched our videos, he would be so frustrated right now. Um, so we don't have an oven in the RV. We have an oven, but if you might remember, we unhook the propane a long time ago. I think before, before we had Eva, because we took out the booth and the propane part of the hookup was right here because of the uh, heater system. So we were just like, mm, let's just unhook it all. So now anytime we want to cook, we go next door, we use the oven in Matt's parents' house, and then we carry everything back next door. Same thing goes for the bathtub when we give Eva a bath because we don't have a tub here. And we are actually, we're just so ready for this house. Hey, spider. So I know in the last video I was really frustrated. I might have gotten a little dramatic, but I think it's for good reason. I'm better now. There have been guys coming out and working on the septic. Still not done. I think it should be done by now, but they are probably a couple days away from finishing, but they were here yesterday and the day before. So we've got a little bit of progress, not enough, but there's some. So we are not letting up on the contractor. Of course we're not. It's not, it doesn't make sense for us to get rid of him, work through the process of a refund, figure out what needs to be done, find all of the other people that need to do it, pay them and work into their schedule. Because I think that would put us several months back versus where we are now. All right, it is a few days later. Um, continuing this vlog, I wanted to finish out with just a little bit of my honest thoughts. Um, not necessarily regarding the house. We've talked about that. There will be more updates to come. A few things have happened since we last updated you. But I wanted to just kind of focus a bit more on my thoughts and and just how I'm, I'm kind of limiting myself um, in terms of growth right now. I have been overthinking this channel for a long time. I'm sure a lot of you guys can, can tell. Um, since we kind of moved into the RV life, we did our traveling, things were really exciting back on the channel. And then we had Eva. And I feel like the channel kind of came to a screeching halt. Not for us, because we've been documenting our parenthood journey, which has been incredible. Going back and looking at those videos is amazing. But I feel like there there was this build up to 
RV life and traveling and everything was really exciting and new and we brought on all these new family members to the YouTube channel and then we had a, a baby and we're like we're not traveling <laughs> we're staying in this RV we're not traveling I went through postpartum depression I struggled to find myself again as a mom I mean not even finding myself again finding out who I am as a mom now and now that I'm kind of I mean, I truly feel like myself again. It has taken, it took me a full year to feel somewhat like myself. And then it took me really, really nailing down, focusing on my health, mental and physical health again. And now I truly feel like myself. And I feel like an even stronger version of who I was before I had Eva. And, and that's amazing. But as I start to become more clear headed about myself again, I realize how limiting how much I've limited myself with this channel because our YouTube channel, it, it's one of my babies. It's my baby. I've been documenting our lives for s six years now, I think on the channel. And I keep telling myself that when the house is done, the content will get better. When the house is done, I'll feel more creative. I'll be able to dedicate more time or I'll have more space. And yeah, those things are true, but we are still here. We're still living. Our life is still crazy. It's still hectic and it's still amazing. And I still love it. And I've been just, I don't know exactly what I'm trying to say, but I, I just think that I've been overthinking things with the channel, trying to, I, I'm either thinking that if I don't have something super exciting planned, then what's the point of making a video? But I have to remind myself, I started out making videos about our daily life and my workouts and sit down and chat videos. And we vlogged our daily life in the RV. I don't know why I've been thinking things are so different or they should be different. So all of this to say, this is our second video uploaded this week. And I will be doing two videos a week. And the videos will range, but it's going to be our life. It's going to be daily vlog content. It will be our various travels around Central Texas, house updates, fitness content, sharing my workout, sharing nutrition stuff, because that's really what I've always loved to do. And Matt's walking back with Eva right now. <laughs> and so I'm just not, I've been holding myself back. I don't know why. I think that part of me just worries that we're not exciting enough anymore because we're not traveling. But yeah, we traveled. It was part of who we were at the time. It's not necessarily who we are now. I would love to travel in the RV, but it's just not, it's just not in the cards for us right now. And that's okay. And I just wanted to let you guys know in the channel that I'm going to be putting more time and effort into this because I truly enjoy this channel. I love connecting with all of you that come and watch the videos, whether that's 10 of you or whether that's 10,000 of you. Um, I just, I love connecting with other people out there. I love bringing a smile to your face or sharing my open and honest thoughts and letting other people know that they're not alone in their struggles. So I'm just, I'm, I'm over, I'm over overthinking. <laughs> I'm over it. So I'm going to be maybe kind of experimenting with trying to, you might have noticed, trying to get some more like creative shots and making normal daily things a little more interesting, at least for me, the type of stuff that I like to watch. So if you do enjoy them, make sure and hit the thumbs up. Let us know in the comments below. If you like to see any particular videos, if you want us to bring back any particular videos that we used to do on the channel, let us know. Your feedback is so important and I will do my best to, to just share. That's it. Just share and, and stop you know, overthinking things and, and just do it. So that's it. I know I'm rambling, but I just wanted to get my thoughts out. Happy Friday. And we will see you on Tuesday for our first of two videos a week. Okay. Y'all have fun out there. Bye. This is another episode of the Wonder Bill Show. The Wonder Bill Show.